Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Boycott NFL's Thursday night attendance spells doom for protesting players' paychecks, picks. Remember Field of Dreams? The Kevin Costner surprise hit movie about baseball, sports, life, patriotism family, etc. It did well and didn't have one player disrespecting America. As IJR is reporting last night's NFL game turned into the field of nightmares for the NFL so low was the attendance. Look, the NFL and the players and their agents and their sponsors can say what they want. But pictures did not lie and the house was empty, the dream is dead, and the protesting players will soon get hit in the paycheck. Owners rely on TV money which is down but that is shared between teams. The owners get huge revenue that they do not have to share from their home games. Seat licenses, total scam, tickets, skyboxes, beer, food parking. They rake it in hand over fist but only if people show up. And as we have seen throughout the season people are not. Last night was probably the worst example and it means the trend is going down and the NFL should start panicking. If not now when? When it is too late to arrest the fall. Last night's game was huge too. A big rivalry between the Kansas City Chiefs who are top the AFC West standings and the Oakland Raiders who need to gain ground and quick. It was an excellent game with playoff implications that came down to the last play. Translation, the house should have been packed and the stadium rocking. Here is the thing the players forget. Because the NFL is so violent no contract is guaranteed. Not even the big stars. They get signing bonuses, have long-term guaranteed money. So after the year is over that the revenue is down the owners can simply cut players and renegotiate contracts. Or threaten to do so. Look money talks and if the revenue is down, unlike other sports leagues, the owners are not burdened with onerous contracts. In other words stand and respect the flag or it is about to cost you. Megyn Kelly explains why Trump is a monster for agreeing with her about Al Franken. Failing NBC Morning host Megyn Kelly went on a long rant against President Trump for agreeing with her about Al Franken. Al Franken groped a woman and stuck his tongue down her throat against her will. President Trump called this out. But according to Kelly, President Trump isn't allowed to be against sexual assault. We could soon have not one but two sitting U.S. Senators accused of sexual assault. Not to mention our President. Fear not, women of America, all is well. All is, it's fine. Senator Al Franken of Minnesota has been accused of forcefully kissing radio personality Leanne Tweeden without her consent and also groping her breasts while she was asleep during the USO tour to the Middle East in 2006, said Kelly. Two years before Senator Franken ran for office, this picture appears to show Mr. Franken's hands hovering over her breasts, she said before making it about Trump. Last night President Trump felt the need to weigh in on this tweeting the Al Frankenstein picture is really bad speaks a thousand words. He went on to ask, where do his hands go in picture 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 while she sleeps? And then this from Mr. Trump. And to think just last week he was lecturing anyone who would listen about sexual harassment and respect for women, said Kelly. I know. Who that has been accused of sexual assault would have the gall to preach to others about sexual misconduct. How infuriating that would be. How tone deaf, Mr. President, said Kelly. Wow. Check out the video below. Al Franken attacks Betsy DeVoe for making easier for sexual predators. Al Franken came under fire after a photo of him was released groping a woman in her sleep. She also accused him of ramming his tongue down her throat. However, just a couple of months ago, the sexual predator Al Franken tried to shame Betsy DeVoe for making easier for sexual predators. 
deeply troubled by Betsy DeVos decision to undo guidelines on campus sexual assault. We need to make campuses more safe, not less. Betsy DeVos decision to reverse guidelines on campus sexual assault threatens students' civil rights. We must protect our students, he tweeted. He is the last one who should be talking. He is referring to Betsy DeVos and doing Obama's unfair policy that took away the rights of any person who has been accused, evidence or not. While apologizing for his sexual assault, Franken referred to himself as a champion of women. The first thing I want to do is apologize, to Leanne, to everyone else who is part of that tour, to everyone who has worked for me, to everyone I represent, and to everyone who counts on me to be an ally and supporter and champion of women. There's more I want to say, but the first and most important thing, and if it's the only thing you care to hear, that's fine, is, I'm sorry, wrote Franken. I respect women. I don't respect men who don't. And the fact that my own actions have given people a good reason to doubt that makes me feel ashamed, he said. Now that Bill Clinton is no longer useful, watch Mika Brzezinski tear him apart for being a rapist. Joe Scarborough and Mika Brzezinski have been defending the Clintons and shaming Bill's victims for years. However, now Democrats want to prove they aren't hypocrites for only calling out Republicans. And now that Hillary is out of the spotlight, they are able to throw Bill under the bus. Of course, Bill Clinton's victims finally being believed is a great thing. But it took way too long and the reasons why they are suddenly being believed is suspicious. Just hear what Mika Brzezinski had to say. We have to look at what the goal is here. What's the goal? What are we trying to do? Because I think the goal is to shine light on really bad behavior. We need to create an environment where everyone feels safe, where this behavior is shunned, where it's unwelcome, and where it's prevented. So, is the goal to bring people down based on politics or hate? asked Mika. There are cases that are proven, where there are settlements, where there is evidence and the sexual predator has been brought down. Harvey Weinstein. There are cases where the predator flourished and continued to be the President of the United States, she said. I'm talking about Bill Clinton. Where the women were attacked, where they were settled fault with, and their lives were ruined, Monica Lewinsky, said Mika. feminist writer says that Franken's accuser is lying because she is a Trump supporter. It is often very difficult to prove that someone sexually harassed or sexually assaulted you. However, in the case of Democratic senator and former Hollywood comedian Al Franken, there is photographic evidence of him groping a woman while she sleeps. However, accuser Leanne Tweeden is a Trump supporter, so according to liberals, she must be lying. Despite the evidence, Feminist writer Vivian Copeland started by pointing out that victim Leanne Tweeden was once in Playboy, therefore she deserved it. Leanne Tweeden as she appeared on TV to accuse at Al Franken and her nude centerfold from Playboy. Quite the transformation. I don't care what party a person belongs to. Perverts need to be held accountable but false accusations aren't cool, either, tweeted Copeland. The jury's still out on Leanne Tweeden and Al Franken but here's some pictures from her FB and I pages. Hardly the bespectacled Trump she portrayed on TV today. LOL. She's a Playboy playmate, a gun fanatic and a T-Rump supporter. You decide, she wrote. Why does being a Trump supporter take away from someone's credibility? Maybe this is less about believing women and more about politics after all to these so-called feminists. People on Twitter were quick to call her out. Blame victim very sad. Please post next to your photo whether women are truthful about sex harassment depends if they're accusing an R or D wrote one user. Just because she posed for Playboy does not give anybody the right to assault her. No means no. Wrote another. Moments after dropping bombshell on the UK, Trump stunned the world with these three words. 
President Trump has worked very hard to maintain a productive and transparent friendship with the United Kingdom. Even when London was struck with a terrifying attack, President Trump cared more about keeping their citizens safe than anything else. As it turns out, his concerns were far beyond valid. A study of police records from England and Wales found that the UK's crime rate has risen by a whopping 13% in just one year, June 2016 to June 2017. According to British police, incidents of sexual assault, knife attacks, and gun crime have all increased by an even greater percentage. The saddest thing about all of this is that our American president is the only one voicing his concerns. President Trump understands the UK is not very far away and he doesn't want this rise in terror and crime to show up stateside. Just at report, United Kingdom crime rises 13% annually amid spread of radical Islamic terror, Trump wrote in a tweet Friday. Not good, we must keep America safe. To make matters worse, these crime statistics actually exclude the two most violent confirmed terrorist attacks in Britain over the past year. The homicide rate, which rose 8% from the previous period, doesn't include the 35 people killed in the Manchester and London attacks. How can you not look to radical Islamic terror as the caveat for growing violence? Thank God we have a president who likes to stay two steps ahead. Even if this did start to happen in the US, there's no chance it would last long against Trump. You can't make a country great again if you can't keep it safe. Do you think the UK should do more to combat terrorism? Do you agree with President Trump? Let us know and share this to show the world how much Trump cares. Sources, DailyCaller.com